Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. x is equal to square root of 14 over x minus 3 minus 9 over x minus 2. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. Since this uh, x minus 3 and x minus 2 is in the denominator, so x cannot be equal to 3 and x cannot be equal to 2. This expression 14 over x minus 3 minus 9 over x minus 2 is under square root. So, this 14 over x minus 3 minus 9 over x minus 2 must be greater than or equal to 0. If we move this negative expression to the right hand side, then 14 over x minus 3 must be greater than or equal to 9 over x minus 2 and this implies that 14 times x minus 2 must be greater than or equal to 9 times x minus 3. And this will become 14 times x minus 28 must be greater than or equal to 9x minus 27. And if we subtract 9x and add 27 to both sides, then this implies that 5 times x minus 1 must be greater than or equal to 0. This implies that x must be greater than or equal to 1 over 5. This 1 over 5 is approximately equal to 0 0.2. So, we get the domain of this equation x must be greater than or equal to 1 over 5 and this is approximately equal to 0 0.2. Because of this, uh, this x must be greater than 0, x must be greater than or equal to 0. And if we combine these two, we get this one x must be greater than or equal to 1 over 5. Now, let us continue by squaring both sides. So, this will become x is equal to square root of 14 over x minus 3 minus 9 over x minus 2 and from here we take square of both sides. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this equation will become x squared is equal to 14 over x minus 3 minus 9 over x minus 2. Now, we take the LCM of this x minus 3 and this x minus 2. The LCM of x minus 3 and x minus 2 will become x minus 3 times x minus 2. And if we divide this LCM by this x minus 3, we get this x minus 2. So, we multiply this x minus 2 by this 14. This will become 14 times x minus 2. And if we divide this LCM by this x minus 2, we get this x minus 3. So, we multiply this negative 9, we multiply this negative 9 by x minus 3 is equal to x squared. x x squared is equal to 14 times x 14x and 14 times negative 2 negative 28. Negative 9 times x negative 9 x negative 9 times negative 3 plus 27 divided by this x times x will become x squared and x times negative 2, negative 2x, negative 3 times x, negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative 2 plus 6. Next, x squared is equal to this 14x minus 9x will become 5x. Negative 28 plus 27 will become minus 1 divided by this expression x squared 
negative 2x minus 3x will become negative 5x plus 6. Now, if we multiply both sides by this expression, this implies that uh, x squared times uh, x squared minus 5 times x plus 6 is equal to 5x minus 1. And x squared times x squared will become x to the power 4. x squared times negative 5x will become negative 5x cubed. And x squared times plus 6 will become plus 6x squared. We move this 5x to the left hand side, this will become negative 5x this negative 1 will become plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, we divide both sides by x squared. We divide every term by x squared. This 1 divided by x squared and this 0 divided by x squared. This x to the power 4 divided by x squared will become x squared. Negative 5 x cubed over x squared will become negative 5 x. And this uh, x squared will be cancelled out with this x squared and here we are left with the plus 6. Minus 5 x over x squared will become 5 over x. Plus this 1 over x squared is equal to 0. Now, we combine the like terms uh, this x squared with this 1 over x squared, this uh, negative 5 x with this negative 5 over x. So, this will become x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared minus 5 times x minus 5 over x plus uh, this 6 is equal to 0. Next, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 5. In bracket left, uh, x plus 1 over x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity, a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared will become x plus 1 over x whole squared minus 2 times x times 1 over x minus this expression 5 times x plus 1 over x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, this x will be cancelled out with this x and this will become x plus uh, 1 over x whole squared. Write this expression first uh, negative 5 times x plus 1 over x. Negative 5 times uh, x plus uh, 1 over x. And this uh, negative 2 plus 6 will become plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, we suppose that this uh, x plus 1 over x and this x plus 1 over x is equal to m. Let x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to m. So, this equation will become m squared minus uh, 5 times m plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is factorable. We write this m squared m squared. You will split this negative 5m as uh, negative 4 times m minus m plus 4 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out m and in bracket left uh, m minus 4. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left m minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, this m minus 4 and this m minus 4 is common. So, we factor out this m minus 4 and in bracket left uh, this m and this negative 1. In bracket left uh, m minus 1 is equal to 0. From here either this uh, m minus 4 is equal to 0 or this 
m minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 4. And from this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 1. Now, we recall that x plus 1 over x is equal to m. Recall that x plus 1 over x is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 4, then this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to 4. And if we multiply both sides by x, this implies that x squared plus 1 is equal to 4x. We move this 4x to the left hand side and this will become x squared minus 4 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. x x squared this uh, negative 4x can be written as a negative 2 times x times 2 and uh, we can write this one as uh, plus 4 minus 3 is equal to 0. Now by using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This uh, x squared minus uh, 2 times x times 2 plus uh, 2 squared will become x minus 2 whole squared minus 3 is equal to 0. We move this negative 3 to the right hand side this will become x minus 2 whole squared is equal to 3. And from here, we take uh, square root of both sides. So, this uh, square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and at left hand side, we are left with uh, x minus 2 is equal to plus minus root 3. We move this negative 2 to the right hand side, then this will become x is equal to 2 plus minus root 3. 3. And from here we get two values of x, x1 is equal to 2 plus root 3 and uh, x2 is equal to 2 minus root 3. Now, when m is equal to this one, then this equation will become x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to 1. And if we multiply both sides by x, this implies that uh, x squared plus 1 is equal to x. We move this x to the left hand side, then this will become x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, we see that the discriminant of uh, this equation is uh, less than 0 or uh, greater than 0 discriminant d is equal to b squared minus 4 a c. This is equal to negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1. This will become 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3. So, the discriminant that is also called delta is less than 0. So, no real solutions can be found from this equation. So, we accept only these two values of x. Now, let us uh, verify these values of x and see that uh, their solutions are not. To verify, we use the domain The domain is x must be greater than or equal to 0.2. The domain is x must be greater than or equal to 0 0.2 and this value of x1 2 plus root 3 is uh, approximately equal to 3.7 that is greater than 0 0.2. So, this is a valid solution. 
this value of x2 2 minus root 3 is uh, approximately equal to 0 0.27 and this is also greater than 0 0.2 so this value of x2 2 minus root 3 is also a valid solution